lab. Hi, I'm a neuroscientist, and I was just on my way to my lab. But since I'm here, I can tell you about the hippocampus and the amygdala in your brain. Um, the hip First, I'll tell you about what's the hippocampus' role in memory. The hippocampus has a major role in memory, especially long-term, short-term, and sensory memory. Um, it also has a major role in spatial navigation. Spatial navigation is exactly what it sounds like. Spatial navigation is like when you're driving and you're looking exactly on the road, except and you have your peripheral vision on eyes all the way, like all around you. What's the amygdala's role in memory? The amygdala can influence emotional memory. Recent studies have said that emotional memories are much stronger and important than regular day-to-day -day memories. An example of an emotional memory is when you witness someone being born or went to a funeral. An example of a regular day-to-day -day memory is to remember to go to a soccer game, football game, or any day-to-day -day activity like taking medicine or something like that. What is the hippocampus? The hippocampus is a small, wavy, and curvy, but some people think that it should be shaped like a hippo, but it's really not. In fact, that the, hi the hippocampus, the hippocampus uh, in Latin means seahorse. Hippo means sea in Latin, and horse means, I mean, and campus means horse in Latin. So if you connect those together, it means seahorse. It, ironically, it's even shaped like a seahorse, as you can see. Um, the, hippo the hippocampus most of the time also triggers pain or any other physical emotions. What's the amygdala? The amygdala is a combination center which is also called the main part of the flight or flight method.